We are in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to add a new user to the computer. Now, this new user is going to be a local user rather than a Microsoft user. So that way, if you're doing a school project or you've got other people in the house that also need to be able to log into the computer but have a different account, then you can do that here. So if we go to the Start button in the lower left-hand corner, we can click on Settings. Now, you may also notice that you can do this through Control Panel, but Microsoft is moving away from the Control Panel, so I'm going to show you the way to do it that's going to work for the future as well. We're going to click on Accounts, and now we see the local administrator. So we want to add another user, right? So we click on Other Users. Now we have a couple of different ways to do that. One is add a work or school user. Now if you click on that, that's looking for a Microsoft account. So if you're not wanting to use a Microsoft account, then you'll want to cancel out of there. If you do have one, you can go ahead and put that in here, and then you can log in as that user. But we want to have a local computer account on just this computer. So I'm going to click in on other users, add someone else to this PC. Once again, it's looking for a Microsoft account, and we're not trying to use that. So we're going to click on, I don't have this person's sign-in information. And now it's giving us another option. We're going to click on, add a user without a Microsoft account. Who's going to use this? We'll say Matthew's going to use this. And we'll put in a password for Matthew. And we're going to get some security questions. So what's your first pet's name? I'm just going to put in standard answers here. And you just pick which one you want, and you type in the information in case you forgot your password. We'll click Next. And now Matthew is all set up. Now I can click the Change Account Type and say, you know what, I want Matthew to be an administrator. So that way Matthew can add programs and make other changes to the operating system. Or if I say I don't want that to happen, then I can just change him back to a standard user. And I can click OK. So now when I go to log out of my computer and go to log back in, it's going to give me the option to log in as Matthew. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click on my Start button and I'm going to choose to sign out. After rebooting, now we see both our ex-administrator as well as Matthew as a potential logon. So we'll just go ahead and log in as Matthew. And Matthew is now logging in locally to the computer, not using a Microsoft account. Of course, we have to go through all of the usual getting ready for us, and then the desktop will appear. And now we're in the default screen. Logged in as Matthew. We can always double check that by going to a command prompt and type who am I. And it says we're on client one computer, logged in as Matthew. So that's how we create a non-Microsoft account, but still have multiple accounts local to a Windows 10 PC.